Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to solve a magnetostatic problem using the magnetic equivalence circuit method in the ANSYS Simplorer software. This is a good feature of the ANSYS Simplorer software that we can model the electromagnetic problem using the magnetic equivalence circuit and solve it. We have related elements in the software such as flux source, reluctances, either linear reluctance or non-linear reluctance. So we can use the magnetic equivalence circuit as an effective method to solve the magnetostatic or magnetodynamic problems okay and in the case of electric motors we can evaluate the performance characteristics of the motor fast before running finite element simulations so here i am going to consider this simple example and explain the basics the units and later we will consider more complex examples and we will consider non-linearities and so on so this example is from this well-known reference electric machinery and i want to solve this problem and compare the numbers so here you can see the magnetic circuit with air gap uh, this is a c core iron and we have a winding here the number of turns is n this is the direction of the current flow and this is the magnetic flux lines we have this air gap and we know that the permeability of air gap is mu zero this is the permeability of iron, the effective air gap area AG, the cross section of the yuk that is AC or A core, and this is the mean core length. You know, the modeling and the magnetic equivalence circuit model of this problem, we have a current source or a flux source here and we have the reluctance of the core and reluctance of the air gap similar to an electric circuit we can find the flux right using this equation that is the total mmf divided by the sum of these reluctances and this is the counterpart electric circuit Yes, we know that the reluctance of the core is the length of the core divided by mu AC, the cross-sectional area of the core, and this is the reluctance of the air gap. So here, let's use these numbers. Also, you are familiar with the fringing effect, and the cross-sectional area of air gap is higher than the core so i'm going to solve this example using the software and compare the numbers let's generate a new project and insert a new simplorer design from here basic elements physical domains magnetic we have these elements, the winding flux source, and here is the model for magnetic core material. This is the magnet or resistor reluctance. This is the MMF force source, okay, the magnetomotive force. So here is the reluctance. 
let's change the name this is the reluctance of the core and we should set the value of the reluctance the unit is ampere per weber yes the unit of the reluctance is ampere turns per weber that is equal to 3.79 times 10 to the power 3 so 3.79 e3 this is the value of the core reluctance let me rotate this object and consider the correct direction of the dot sign and here is the reluctance of the air gap so i need another reluctance the air gap so let's change the name rg what is the value of reluctance 4.42 10 to the power 5 e5 okay so we have these two reluctances in series right you know this is the direction of the flux in this circuit and the flux is constant okay the amount of flu and we have two reluctances in series and here we have a source a magnetomotive force so you know we have uh, different modelings considering uh, sources in a magnetic circuit right we simulate permanent magnets like flux sources and windings like the voltage sources okay like this one the magnetomotive force source so let's look at the parameters of this element mmf1 this is the uh, value that we have here the unit is ampere so this is the ampere turn actually right the total magnetomotive force what is the value of the total magnetomotive force here in this example the areas are given and the relative permeability is given the aim is to find the value of the current that generate this flux but i am going to consider this current and solve circuit and calculate the value of flux the number of turns is 500 and the value of current is 0.8 so here i write 500 times 0.8 okay and let's close the circuit this is the counterpart model of this example so now let's solve the circuit and find the value of flux in this reluctance the reluctance of the core and the reluctance of the gap here I don't need to run this transient simulation and I want to do a magnetostatic analysis. So add a DC solver and simply run the simulation analyze to find the value of the flux in RC and R gap. The simulation completed. Results we can generate a data table and plot the value of flux in rc and r gap so here you can see the numbers let me increase the font size of these numbers okay the unit here is volt second that is weber right we know that 
the induced voltage is d lambda dt the unit here is volt this unit is second so volt second is weber the number that we have here is 9 times 10 to the power minus 4 or this is equal to 0.9 milliweber that is the same as this one right this is close to 0.9 milliweber so yes we solved this example using the elements that we have in simplorer software so this is a powerful feature of this software we have different physical domains and we can use these domains simultaneously and solve a multi-physics problem for example we can model an electric motor using the magnetic equivalent circuit method and also consider the mechanical equations and design the drive circuit right and use the control blocks to do the analysis and simulation fast and later we can replace the magnetic equivalent circuit model with the finite element model right to compare and tune the parameters more okay so in this video just i wanted to present this simple example and you can read more about other elements and try this example in the next videos we will consider more complicated examples thanks for watching